Aloha everyone, and welcome back to my channel Bar Life. Today I'm going to talk about Tesla's latest software update, which finally allows the full self-driving feature to recognize and stop for traffic lights and stop signs. If you enjoy watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button. So let's get right into it. At the start of May, my Tesla notified me that a new update was available. And as you can see here, it was version 2020.12.11.1. This latest software update included what Tesla is calling traffic light and stop sign control. It is still in beta, but then again, so are all the full self-driving features. Now this is a huge update because everybody has been waiting for this with bated breath uh, to be included in the full self-driving. Elon had originally said that this would be released before year's end in 2019, but four months later is not that bad. I'm just going to read off a bit of what this feature includes. Traffic light and stop sign control is designed to recognize and respond to traffic lights and stop signs. Slowing your car to a stop when using traffic aware cruise control or auto steer. As your car approaches an intersection, your car will indicate the intention to slow down via a notification. It basically recognizes the stop line at the intersection and marks this in a red line in the driving vi visualization on the screen. Now being in beta and in the first version, it is important to note that the car will slow down and come to a stop at any traffic light or stop sign that it recognizes. Whether the light is red, green, or yellow, or even if it is off, once it is safe to proceed through the intersection, all you have to do as a driver is tap the autopilot stock or the accelerator pedal. The car will then proceed through the intersection and continue self-driving along the road. Now with a green light, the car will still slow and stop at the intersection, so once you see the notification, which appears usually a few hundred feet ahead of the intersection, you just tap the autopilot stock or the accelerator pedal and the car will dismiss the notification and proceed through the intersection at whatever speed it was already traveling at. On the latest Tesla earnings call, Elon Musk said, right now, Tesla is gathering data on 1 million intersections per month, and that as updates roll out to more of the Tesla fleet and those cars continue to drive through intersections during their everyday driving, this number will soon grow to become data on 1 billion intersections per month. So given this, Later versions of this feature will presumably recognize and act appropriately to different colored lights at the intersection, as well as monitoring other cars at a stop sign intersection and proceeding accordingly. So without further ado, let's see this new feature in action. Here I am approaching an intersection with a red light and with full self-driving engaged. You can see the visualization on the dashboard indicating that the car sees all five red traffic lights mounted at this intersection. It also sees the stop line and the crosswalk and marks this in the visualization as a red line. This was my first time testing out this feature in traffic and thankfully, as you can see, my Tesla successfully comes to a stop by itself after seeing the red light at the intersection. With this feature, you could say that Teslas are now almost fully capable of driving themselves from one point to another. The only things still to be introduced are the ability to proceed through the intersection accordingly on its own without driver input. And one of the big ones of the car being able to turn at intersections to follow a route the driver has indicated via a destination on the navigation. Right now, you still have to turn through uh, intersections on your own. It must be noted that Teslas can turn on their own on a road or path that they're taking. They just don't turn from an intersection on their own. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. Aloha.